I need to find out about Peterborough. What is a Peterborough? Who is a Peterborough? Where is a Peterborough? Where is this football club? Peterborough FC. Uh, right, so the posh are in the championship and they're 22nd out of 24. Oh, these are shit. Oh, these are bad guys. These are bad. I'm here to address LB from City Extra and his knowledge on Peterborough, located in Cambridgeshire, sandwiched between Northampton and Kings Lynn. Their name, Peterborough United, nicknamed the Posh, formed in 1934. They play their football at London Road, which is known by its sponsor name now, the Western Home Stadium. It has a capacity of 15,313. However, they are going to be moving to a new stadium, which is going to have a capacity just below 20,000. It's going to be located on the other side of the River Neen on the embankment. That is still in the planning stages, though. They're playing their trade in the championship, currently sitting in 20 second in the table it's peterborough united today taking on preston north end what's going on guys jsgc here and we are here for another football vlog i'm joined with mixer today we're going to be heading to peterborough united away watching his team preston north end but before I do crack on with this away vlog, we are currently just in Weatherspoons in Doncaster. We've got a little changeover, we've got a spare hour, so we're just getting something to drink and eat before we head over to Peterborough. But if you do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. Subscribe as well if you're new around here, we're close now to 100 subscribers, so if we could hit that, then that would be absolutely sensational. Also, don't forget as well to let me know your thoughts in the comments below and go check out all our links in the description. Anyway, on to Peterborough. Dark emotions ever torn so deep Falling Welcome to Peterborough, is there anything more southern than the background white rose? We're into spoons, I'm on a single rum and coke Ready to enjoy Peterborough away. We've got a little plan of action of a few bars that we want to go and try, which we're going to go and do over on Mixed channel. So I'm not really going to go into much detail. I'll let that uh, be for Aaron's video. But I'll just briefly take you around each place as we descend onto the Western Home Stadium for Peterborough away. Our next watering hole, Aaron. Isn't it? Let's go. <laughs> We're in the brewery tap where we've got some special made ciders. I'm on a tropical one. It smells very nice. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, it's a very peculiar taste. Uh, they do all kinds of ciders, all kinds of ales in here. Food, we've got Aspel cider. We're on, we're on sofas. It's just such a nice looking place. Let me show you around. Gorgeous and quirky little bar, this one. Peterborough away, growing on me by every growing minute. Welcome guys to Peterborough. That is the church, not the cathedral. The cathedral's right behind that. And this is the cathedral. How can you rate this as one of the worst places in the UK? Just can't. Beautiful architecture. I don't think it deserves the rep at all. This is, yeah, Peterborough got voted three years running, three, that it was the worst place to live in the UK. However, January 3rd, 2022, it's been knocked off its pedestal. It's no longer the worst place to live in the UK. And I'll be completely honest, I think this is uh, actually a really nice place. It's very English. Yeah, yeah. nice architecture, nice place to find mine, but I don't think it deserves its rep at all. No. I think, because uh, Aylesbury May took its lead, it's number one now. <laughs> it's got a balloon up there in Liverpool. Not a Bakewell, which was a, a very nice drink. It's not often that I manage to have cocktails on an away day. It's normally just pubs 
and pints, but it's actually really nice to go out and explore some different places and different bars here in Peterborough. And like I said, Peterborough does come with uh, a little bit of a reputation. It comes with a reputation of being three years in a row, the worst place to live in the UK up to up to this year. And actually, it's I found it to be a very elegant, very enjoyable uh, class away day, in my complete honest opinion. So from here, we are going to go and head down to a very special place. It's called the Charters Bar, which is a canal boat, which is something we've never done on an away day before. So we'll go and have a pre-game pint in there, and then we'll head to the Western Homes Stadium for this game between Peterborough United and Preston North End. So over there is where they're going to build a new stadium. That's Embankment. It's just further over there. There's our Charters Bar. And somewhere over there is the Western Home Stadium. How does it feel having a pint on a boat on an away day? <laughs> That's fantastic. It's nice and vibrant. We're with the people. We're with the people locals. I think it's a unique experience. For me, it's seven out of ten. We're in line here on the boat, Chartland Bar. Your standard six out of ten Swedish branded cider. We've made it to the stadium. Proper traditional ground, this one, in my opinion. I'll just turn you around. Good lights, and there's the stadium, the Western Home Stadium, London Road, Peterborough away. So as you can see, I like my badge collection, but I feel like a complete fraud for this one. More number one fan, I'm a person fan, but I like collecting the team's badge every ground I go to. Nah, you've been bigging up Peterborough like no end, you're now Peterborough's biggest fan. <laughs> so away ends just here, on the side of the Western Home Stadium, and inside the stadium for the first time. Here we go, footy scran and footy bev time. Nine pound, Stamford Press. How does it taste? Nice. Aaron? Yeah, I'm on the Stamford Press as well, the berries. Ah, very nice. So we're on the Peterborough Games. Go say, got fresh food outside the stadium. Go say, I don't think we'll get any now. half time beverages here or any scrunt here. I'm not so, sure. Not sure. No. We'll go well, for I'll give outside. you a rating inside the stadium like that. So as Ray out said, I said it's over to you just to see football. So <laughs> give, go to the football side. No chilli, no cheese. Five pounds. We have onions. Disappointed. The hot dog makes me sad. So no chilli, no cheese. Five pounds. Five pound bid, this point start. Very expensive, guys. So, right, is it worth the money? No. For me, it's a five out of ten, it's very much. So, just you see what you want. Pop dog with onions. What should you be on? Chili dog. Are we going to be more excited for that? Okay. Alright, five out of ten. Time to tuck in. <laughs> Pretty good. Hello, okay. Cheers, thank you. Thank you, you too. Here we go, the way at FD Brew United. Let's go. traditional just straight in wooden seats what's not to like as you can see from the western home stadium wooden seats we've not had 
this is Burnley away. This. Proper traditional. My only complaint is I'd rather this be terracing, if I'm honest. I'm gonna go to this length, I'd rather this just be terracing. But this is a proper. Proper English ground, really. An old fashioned ground. I can see why they're moving to a new stadium and looking to modernise it. You've got the new modern stand here. Not too bad here. Here. Here in the main stand. It does need modernising. Wooden seats, it's 2022. <laughs> My question is what's that? What's going on? <laughs> it's score prediction time. Still Preston. I'm over one nil Preston North End for this game. We do have a bit of history with the manager, Darren Ferguson, come on North End. It was a former Preston manager between 2010 and 2011. Because it was, it was a bad time, we got relegated, we got relegated to League One during those days. Come on North End. I like that. <laughs> Subscribe to Just GC Football for more football content. Let's go. Popular. People have a better head to head. So people have 10 wins, 6 draws, and Preston North End have 9 wins. So if they win today, we can level it up. This has been a pretty boring first 15 minutes, if I'm honest. No real opportunities for either team, if I'm honest. Both teams have looked like set pieces. Uh, might be their best opportunity in the game, but at the moment, nothing much. Why are you sat down? I don't know. <laughs> First massive opportunity of the game. A good save, I think, from the goalkeeper. It tipped onto the crossbar. I think he might have been offside. It was offside, but a good save nonetheless. In a pretty flat first 30 minutes or so here. Oh, we forgot. Still waiting for anything of no to happen, really. Just here on the away court, a little step bar. Time for four minutes to sleep that. Oh man. That's no painful to watch. Nil no, nil. No. So we've got good old classic pucker pie and ketchup for Aaron's on steak and ale. Uh, pucker pie. It's cost me the pie and coke five pound each. That's another ten pound out of pocket. <laughs> Everything should be a tenner for two here. Yeah. <laughs> Coca Cola, chicken multi pie. Nice. Five out of ten, just a typical chicken, chicken multi pie. You get a football. I don't think there's really much for me to add on to that. Flaky. Flaky says no good start at all. Oh, look at that. That's so cold. <laughs> it's cold! That cold. It can't be cold. Cold as shit. <laughs> that's a 1 out of 10. <laughs> so it's gone from That's like... cold, that's 1 out of 10. Right, we're giving food and drink 3 out of 10. Starting to get on top. An opportunity well saved by Everson. Opportunity then just pulls across. Sky by Peterborough. Peterborough to try and get ahead of momentum here early in the second half. Yeah! 1-0 here, 
around the gallery. if you haven't already like we're on that push to 100 subscribers now only seven away so hoping to hit that fairly soon also don't forget as well to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video also don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments below of what you made of this match vlog also let me know in the comments anywhere you'd like to see us go to or see any teams or stadiums or anything just let me know in the comments below and we'll see what i can do and yeah i'll see you all again very soon to give my thoughts post-match of the game i thought probably one of the more boring games that i've been to um not just this season but in the last few seasons i thought peony looked pretty solid at the back i thought peterborough were pretty unlucky particularly with that free kick in the second half it's in the crossbar and Preston ended up showing their quality, their clinical edge uh, towards the end of the game with Cameron Archer showing that he, he probably is uh, getting there for Premier League quality, turning well onto his left foot with a cool, decent finish into the top corner to give PNE uh, a three points here. Uh, but Peterborough scrapping and scraping at the bottom of the division trying to secure survival uh, in 22nd place I think they're still in 22nd place and uh, Pieni now into the top half I think they're sitting in 11th place and we'll have their eyes looking at the playoff Preston have played uh, more games than the teams around them but all you can do is win your games and that's exactly what Pieni have done here and they need to continue to do that if they can do that then the playoffs isn't out of reach, but PNE looking very good under Ryan Lowe. So in terms of our ratings for Peterborough away, we're going to be rating for food and drink, which we're giving a 3 out of 10. £10 ten pound for two for a bottle of Coke and a pie inside the stadium. Yeah, um, like that, you got chicken, chicken, bowl chicken bowl tea. tea. Outside... Five pound a piece for a hot dog. Didn't have any chili dogs. Didn't have any cheese. Just a normal hot dog and a normal hot dog bun with some onions and ketchup. To me, not worth five pound and five pound for alcohol outside uh, as well. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a and the three. The cold inside the ground, so I'm still very disappointed when I couldn't now, in terms of atmosphere, I thought the away fans in there managed to generate a decent atmosphere, certainly from uh, where we were in the uh, in the stadium in the away end. Uh, I really like the main stand, the, d the design of it, the steep roof. I think it helps echo a really good yeah. noise in there. Uh, you've got two pretty old-fashioned stands, two 
fairly modern oh, stands nice. there as well. So there's a nice bit of history in there, whilst also a nice little bit of modernisation. To me, very smart ground. Um, I, home fans for a little bit quiet. Uh, in terms of uh, home fan atmosphere, I say typical home <laughs> home atmosphere, really. Like that. No yeah. one realizes I'm doing this from an away fans' point of view. Because I but so fans win quite long. To be honest, I like that. So for atmosphere, I'm probably gonna. I'll give it a six out of yeah, ten. Six. Um, for me, and then in terms of value for money, cost us £28 to uh, get into the stadium for our match ticket, food and drink, like I said, for twos cost us £20, £10 for the two hot dogs, £10 again uh, for the alcohol, so everything just seems to be £10 for two uh, <laughs> at Peterborough. Um, One thing to mention is it's two pound on the day, so it can be thirty pound if you decide to pay on the day as well. I think train tickets were about forty, forty-five pounds, something like that, uh, for us each. So yeah, um, not the cheapest away day, certainly when coming from the north, uh, heading to Peterborough. Uh, not the easiest place for us to get to as well. But uh, in terms of value for money, like I said, uh, it was a good old-fashioned football ground. Uh, and to me, uh, I'm, I'm going to give it uh, another 6 out of 10, uh, giving a grand total for Peterborough away of 15 out of 30. Uh, which is exactly half, so a solid 5 out of 10. I will add, though, that the bars, uh, Peterborough, the uh, city centre itself was excellent. Fully enjoyed our day. Mixed, he has done a vlog if you want to go and check that out. Um, but to me, uh, that experience before the game made Peterborough a top class away destination, in my opinion, and f very high. Uh, on my recommendation list of places that you should go and visit. So, I've been James GC Football. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.